baseline. You have a wide open shot. Uh, guys like Wenyon, who I think are pretty good shooters, don't make a shot. Layup, well, he made some dunks. Not a jump shot, not a three, not a free throw. And we have our chance to win the game. I mean, we make some dumb, inexperienced plays down the stretch. We made strides. Um, I kind of like that smaller team. And they're not small. I mean, 6'9", 6'9", 6'9", 6'9", maybe. Um, I kind of like that team in there. Um, you know, you, you hold this team to 36% and 29 from the three when they're shooting 50 and 45. And you out-rebound them uh, on their court. Uh, only have six turnovers the second half, which is about that number. Um, but again, we... Heron left, left, left on the same guy. The guys, they score eight straight points on a, and then we miss all these shots. You know, I feel for him, and poor Hami. I mean, he's, he's making strides and getting better. He needed that three to drop. And that thing went da 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 We would have been up seven, and it just didn't go. I mean, I don't know what, you know, I feel bad for him. I told him, you just keep working, man. But he looked rattled out there, and I just said, we gotta win the game. So, um, you know, you gotta worry about egos later when you're just trying to win a game. Um, Auburn, you know, a terrific team. They fight, they scramble, they come up with balls, and, and if you give them a chance to make threes, they make them. And in the first half, I lost my mind. We came into the game, guard to three, and we're not fouled. They had 31 points out of 30, whatever they had at halftime, from the line and from the three. And I look at my team, did anybody listening to me on this? And we, we went in and they threw out for three. I mean, we did well for a while, but, but we'll, you know, look, we just come back. We got another tough game. We got Alabama who's like on a win streak and beating everybody's brains in. And now you got them. The league is not what it's been. And now you have no room. We don't have any room for error. And as a coach, I got to keep them going and just get to work and say, how do we get better? And what do we do to try to turn this around? And, Good news is I've done this for 30 years. Haven't had one of these in a while. Probably good for the soul. I wish it was good for someone else's soul. <laughs> <laughs> Not mine, but John with four straight.